Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Modelica software. This is Mohamed. I'm part of the Smart Thermal Energy Systems Group at D2 Construct. Today, I will introduce you to Modelica in text mode and walk you through practical example based on thermal energy systems. Let's start with a basic understanding of uh, what Modelica is. What is Modelica? Modelica is an open source, object oriented and equation based modeling language used for simulating complex physics, physical systems. It's particularly strong in simulating systems involving thermal, mechanical, electrical and control components together. Unlike procedural languages, here we describe the system using equations directly. It's especially useful in engineering field like, like ours, working with thermal energy systems. Why should we use Modelica? First, it allows multi-domain modeling, meaning we can model electrical and thermal systems together. Second, it uses an equation-based approach which makes uh, the model more natural and easier to maintain. Also, Modelica supports re reusability and modularity. You can uh, build your own libraries of components and use this component in a different uh, cycle, different uh, systems. Lastly, we have strong simulation tools like Daimola, Open Modelica to run our models efficiently. Okay, let's look at the different class types in Modelica. The most common one is the model, uh, which we'll focus on. Record is, a uh, is for storing structured data. Function is for procedural code. Package for grouping models and functions. Connector is used for defined ports and interfaces. On the right hand, uh, you see the basic structure of the Modelica model, starting with a class type like model, uh, then declaration section, optional initial equation section, followed by the main equation block and ending with end. These are our learning goals for today's session. First, you will get familiar with the Modelica text-based environment. Then we will explore the syntax and structure of models. Uh, we will understand how to declare parameters and equations and how to simulate dynamic behavior using dev. By the end, you should be able to write and simulate simple but meaningful models. We will using Daimola 2024X in this course. It supports OS graphical and text models. But we will focus on writing models manually in the text mode to fully understand the structure and behavior of Modelica code. This is our first simple model. We define parameters like mass, heat capacity, temperature, and heat input. We compute the input heat using a sine function and apply an energy balance equation. We will simulate this for 10 seconds and observe how final temperature and heat input vary. What's the difference parameters and variables? Parameters are fixed value during simulation like mass and heat capacity. Variables uh, can change during our simulation like final temperature and input it. Equation defined relationship among these uh, parameters and variables. Important point about Modelica. Modelica does not use explicit solving order. It handles equations symbolically. Okay. Now, uh, let me to open uh, Daimola software 
and uh, define uh, the parameters our model and uh, explain the different options in software okay here our graphical mode uh, i i will explain it in our next session but in this session we will focus on text mode for this example we need to create our uh, package click on file tab and new this is a list of different class we need a package write its name and uh, okay in inside of the package we need a new model right click new and model and write its uh, name okay here we have a model without any parameters and variable or equation and now we need to uh, define our code to saving time i copy paste from slides now we have our model here we have four parameters two variables and equation before simulation we need check our model to know how many uh, unknown parameters and equations we have it's successful uh, now we can go simulation tab and change its time to 10 seconds and simulate it start to compiling our model now it's finished we need new plot go plot tab option and new plot now we want to show input it here and final temperature t2 we can uh, see the plot of heat put uh, input it and temperature versus time notice how the uh, he input heat affects the final temperature okay back to the slides and for second examples in this example we introduce the first order derivative of temperature this uh, equation models how temperature changes with time. We initialize T using the start attribute. It helps simulate systems with dynamic behavior. Their parentheses calculates the time derivative. It, it's how we define dynamic in Modelica. The start equal value gives an initial condition to the variable and use during simulation initialization okay go text tab and duplicate our last model and change its name to first order differential equation okay in this uh, example we don't need to initial temperature okay we need at start equal 400 and write the t now check our model it's successful and simulation tab change our time simulate this is our input it and for temperature we can activate it from here it start from 400 increase decrease okay this example is finished. Uh, the third one. Now we add complexity 
with heat loss. The model calculates Q loss based on surface area, temperature difference, and heat transfer coefficient. The energy balance is updated to include this loss. Uh, you will see the model allows multiple expressions inside the equation section without needing to define the order. They are all handled together. Okay, take step and uh, duplicate our last model. Change its name to add luster. In this example, we have some new uh, parameter and equation. The new parameter is the transfer coefficient, area, and ambient temperature. A new variable Q loss and new equation Q loss again. Check our model. It's successful. Go simulation tab. Change the time. Okay. Simulate. Now we can check our results. This is a new T and here we can add a new plot for heat loss. And if we want to compare uh, the temperature with the previous example, we have it T and we can compare our results with adding luster and without luster. Okay. What's the difference? Start and initial condition. This example introduced the initial equation block. Here we define the initial condition for temperature. Unlike start, this sets a hard constraint during initialization and is useful when equation need to be solved together. Start give a suggested starting value, but initial equation enforces a specific condition. When you need a more control over initial states, especially in systems of equations, initial equation is preferred. Okay back to our package text mode create a new model and give a name initial condition okay and add our code check it it's successful here we have a temperature variable initial equation t equal 400 and equation derivative t equal 1 and simulation tab change it to 10 close all of them and simulate okay we can click on t and it shows our results and add a new plot to show the derivative of t it's equal one okay now we define a second order differential equation we use one variable for t another for its derivative a in Modelica, we cannot define derivative parentheses, derivative t equal to a value. Okay, it's impossible. We should define a new uh, variables, like this example. In this regard, uh, go to the software, take mode, and write a model. Give a name 
and copy paste our model here okay here we have a t variable this is our main variables and the other one a the our initial equation is uh, 293 and equation derivative t equal a uh, and derivative a equal minus t to show what's different wh what is the second order differential of t check our model and successful simulation change the time and simulate Our results updated and this is A and the blue one is T. This is dirty and there A. Okay, that's it. That concludes our introduction of uh, Modelica in text mode. I hope the examples gave you a clear idea of how to structure models and define dynamics using equations. If you have any questions or want to explore more advanced topics, feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention.